Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a four step hexagon design in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. And you can see here I have added a, a world map in the background and I've added some detailed text. So when I click the first, it will show me the first option, then option B, option C and option D. Likewise, I have created some more with a different color options. So this is one slide with this color. So let's see how to create this four step hexagon infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and on the slide you can see the background uh, is the world map which is non movable. I have added by going to view slide master and you can just paste any image here you can see here so just paste any image if you have world map which is already provided in this one uh, in the template and once you put your image or the world map just close the master view and you got this map which is you cannot move it then go to insert shapes under basic shapes select hexagon just click it here you got this hexagon make sure it's center and middle shape outline make it no outline and go to insert shapes select a rectangle and draw the rectangle exactly from the center and increase it something like this and shape outline make it no outline you can see here this is the hexagon and this is the rectangle so i'm just keeping the copy of the hexagon by pressing ctrl d for the future use and i'm going to select these two images and you can just say merge shapes or combine so i'm not going to do that one let me just add some more hexagons here i'm going to reduce the height and width of the hexagon select the hexagon and I will just say height as 0 0.62, 0 0.62 and width as 0.72 and again align center, align middle. So based on this also I am just going to reduce it my rectangle size also. So you got this particular size. Let me just reduce it and then I am going to use this press ctrl d to duplicate it and change the color to some other color and right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to make it under fill transparency effect so that when i'm putting it here it is clearly visible again this align center align middle and i can increase the size by holding the ctrl and shift key and drag it outside you can see here and I'm going to copy this line here now press ctrl D to duplicate and make sure that the height of the hexagon should be matching with this line for that let me just zoom it and I can again increase the size something this much size I need and then I will just put it exactly in the center and increase the size a, a little bit more you can see this one so this is the first and second likewise I need to add three or four more layers so let me just change this color and later on I will change it anyway. So let me just put some different color here. Then I'm going to add one more layer on top of this. I'll just select press control D and put it here on the top and make sure that there is no spaces. And then I'm just going to change the color for the time being. Increase the size. 
and then select this hexagon press ctrl d to duplicate it and then as usual i'm going to use the ctrl and shift key to increase the size so this is perfectly matching with this so you can see here i've got one two three layers and if you want you can add more layers also again to add more layers press ctrl d to duplicate put it exactly on top of this without any space between this go to format shape change the color to something else there should not be any gap and then if you want you can increase the size and i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and ctrl and this increase the size so you can see here we have created one two three and four hexagons now let me just send this back the bigger hexagon select the hexagon go to format and send to back then i'll select this i'll also send this back so that i can select this so then i can select this and then send to back right now i'm going to select this increase the size a little bit more which is should go out of the the hexagon area let me just increase further then this one will be bigger than the first one so i'm going to select the first hexagon and the rectangle go to format merge shape just say union so it becomes one shape here then i'm going to select the second hexagon and this line or this rectangle merge shape just say union then i'm going to select the third hexagon and this one merge shape union and then the fourth and the last merge shape just say union and you can change the color for the time being till we add some new colors to it and all this transparency also i can make it to zero this small gap just move this up all right so you can see here our basic design is almost ready i'm just going to delete this let me change this color it is not clearly visible all right now i'm going to cut this uh, this particular the corners for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle and just rotate it how much you need make it a transparency effect shape outline make it no outline then i'm just going to put it here exactly in the corner you can see here exactly covering this corner let me just increase the size yes So I'll copy this pressing control D then I will put it here exactly in the corner control D for this and then control D for this also So come to the first one select this shape and the rectangle format merge shape just say subtract so we got this shape i'll select this now subtract select this subtract and select this and the subtract 
so you got this shape here now you could have i could have added more gaps but anyway this is also uh, not a problem and then you can add the shadow select all go to effects shadow and just put the shadow which is above the top and if you want you can increase the distance and increase the blur size now let me change the colors select this fill i will select go with the first like light color then i will just go with this then i'll go with this color dark yellow and this color and then we need to add, just add the options go to insert text just type a and bring it here if you want you can remove the guidelines then go to home increase the size make it bold and font text to be white so this is a control d to duplicate this is for b c and d let me just change this will be d c b and a and if you have any icons you can just simply add the icons and you can add the options here the headlines only for that text box i'll just type it title here again you can make it white press ctrl d so this will be the second title the third title and the fourth title now I'll select all these objects you can use press ctrl a also and then i'll just move it here and then you can add more details of each section so i'll just say this is a i can increase the size and i will add one line here shape outline i can make it a gray and then i can insert some text here or i can just use one latin text and delete the unnecessarily reduce the size okay this is for a i can just copy all select all this ctrl d to duplicate i will add this is for b this is for c and this is for d so let me just change this is b this is c and this is d again i'm going to select the colors which is i'll select this is a b color for c and color for d and you can select this only and just move in the center and if you want to do some animations you can do a simple animation to do the animation first you need to group all this Control G to group it, then select this. You can group this Control G. The moment you group it, it will come on the front. You can go and say send back. Then I can just do the grouping of this. Control G again, send back. 
the last one control G and send back then I can use this one go to animation enable the animation pane and then you can use any animation maybe I can just say add animation more entrance effect and just say basic zoom when I play it will look something like this then select this double click the animation painter and do it for B C and D so if I play this it comes something like this and you can do the animation for A B C D also when A comes this should come when B comes this should come so you can do the animation in that way also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye